Hi guys, Dane here and welcome to my March 2022 book haul. I have some books, let's go. Dane reads. Hello everybody, I have two books to haul for you today. These are both two that I bought on Amazon because they are indie releases. So the first is Eccentric Circles Short Stories Volume 1, edited by Cynthia Brackett Vincent. This is from Encircle Publications, who published the Lightfold series. And so there is a story in this of mine called The Case of the Missing Gnome. Um, which is very exciting. That's actually going to be in the Lightfold files, my upcoming release later this year. But do check this out because there are some very talented authors in it. You might even find a new favourite. And then I got Deep Down There by Ollie Jacobs. So Ollie is an indie writer who I've been following for many years now. Used to live here in High Wycombe. Uh, this is his new release. And actually it was going to be coming out through Unbound. Um, but basically for various reasons that didn't happen. Which means this has been in, uh, in the works for a long time. And I'm glad I've finally got my hands on it. Hello people of YouTube. I have one book for you that came in the post today. I know what it is. Shout out to Joel Swagman. Well, I'm buddy reading this series with. That should give you a good idea of what it is. It is The Tin Woodman of Oz by L. Frank Baum. And uh, it's a pretty cool little edition. So yes, looking forward to reading this. Shame no illustrations though, but hey ho. Hello everybody. While I was in the supermarket today, I saw this in the charity book exchange. This is Bosch, How to Live Vegan, Save the Planet and Feel Amazing by Henry Firth and Ian Thiesby. I've read some of Bosch's uh, recipe books before, so it'd just be interesting to read this, which is more sort of non-fiction. Uh, I mean, that one I just flicked in. Where do you get your protein? How to use cars and transport. Some notes on knowing whether makeup brands are uh, royalty free. Hello, I got a book in the post that I'm very excited to add to my bedtime reading list. This, this is Asterix et le Chaudron by Argosini e Eodezzo. C'est un bon dessiné. That's a graphic novel or comic in French. And uh, yeah, I'm just reading it to improve my French. Crack on with some more Asterix. It's been a little while, so I'm looking forward to getting back to it. It is whole time. I have two books that have arrived in the post. So, we have The Magic of Oz by L. Frank Baum, which is what, number 10? Number 11 maybe? We're really near the end of the Wizard of Oz series now. I think there's only one more after this one. Oh! December 2019, Whitebridge Primary School, White Beam, Year 4. Dear Daniel, Dan the Man, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. It has been a pleasure teaching you this year. Keep up the hard work and best of luck. Keep up your football practice. Miss Aaliyah. Cool. Well, got this from a charity shop. In fact, did I? I ordered it online and it had been bought from a charity shop, I think. But anyway, I got that. Um, and then I got June, The Battle of Corin by Brian Herb and Kevin J. Anderson. So this is the next, oops. This is the next book I have to get to in the June series. Um, and it's actually the end of a trilogy. So then I'm not sure what trilogy comes after that. That's all good. That actually puts me back onto nine books currently reading. So I'm still sticking under my goal of 10, but now I order another book, so. There's that. Hello, it's me, and I have just one book to haul for you today, and that is Glinda of Oz by L. Frank Baum. So this is the last of the Oz books um, that Baum wrote, so he died after this one came out, basically. Um, I've just started it, I'm already 10% of the way through, because I tend to whiz through these. Um, I'm not actually meant to start it until next Monday, but I'm running out of books to read, so I'm hoping that the Joel of Joel Swagman, who I'm buddy reading this with, this series with, will forgive me. But um, yeah, we've come to the end of our Oz adventure, unless we continue to read the rest of the Oz books that were written by other authors, which we might do, I don't know. See what he says. It is me. Uh, I have a book to haul for you, um, which is good timing, because then I can do my outro for this. So I got this in the post. I got it yesterday, but I didn't spot it immediately. It was hiding behind another parcel that arrived. This is Hunters of June by Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson. This is June book number seven in the original series. So it follows on from Chapter House June by Frank Herbert, based on his notes. I'm like 10% of the way in so far. It's all right. It also doesn't have scarily small print like some of the others did. So 600 odd pages, cracking on with that. Good stuff. And, as I say, it is the end of the month. In fact, there is three hours left of this month. So, as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more, and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.